Russia is being hit by a real storm of emergencies, explosions, constant drone attacks and fires. The war with Ukraine unleashed by Putin is actively returning back to Russia. Russians on social networks have begun to think that Putin's rule is turning into a real catastrophe for their country. Thus, Russian economic analyst Anatoly Nesmian assessed the events of the morning of August the 22nd alone being amazed by the number of emergencies, explosions and fires. As of mid-August, Russia is experiencing an invasion of a foreign army. A major fire has been blazing for the fourth day at an oil depot near Rostov, where firefighters cannot extinguish the fire. In the morning, a gas explosion occurred in a residential building in the Perm region and drones dealt a devastating blow to an airbase in the Velgograd region. There, the ammunition of bombers exploded, local residents are being separated as the detonation continues and shells are flying around the area. Meanwhile, information was received that a plane from Khabarovsk was preparing to make an emergency landing at Sheremetyevo Airport near Moscow with a smoke detector in the cabin that had been activated. Moreover, against this background, Russian media began to publish information about the installation of concrete shelters in Kursk, Zeleznogorsk and Kuchatov. The war is increasingly covering Russia, and this is a direct consequence of the so-called special military operation unleashed by Putin. The operation to invade Ukraine has led to a real catastrophe for the lives of ordinary Russians, they write on social networks. Never before has the special military operation gone according to plan as it does now. We sincerely hope that all Z patriots are happy and satisfied. This is what they called for. This is what they fought for. For this, almost 200,000 Russians have already died at the front. Russian media comment on the news of the last day and days. Another day of unprecedented economic growth and the planned victory over neo-Nazism and colonialism, writes Russian analyst Anatoly Nesmian about the events in Russia. Kirillo Duchko, staff sergeant of the Public Relations Service of the 13th Operational Brigade, charter of the National Guard of Ukraine, noted that the enemy does not take its military, both killed and wounded, from the battlefield. He told about this on Espresso TV. The enemy does not take away its killed personnel. They are lying in the middle of an open field. I'll tell you more. The Russians do not even evacuate their wounded. Accordingly, the wounded are either dying themselves or the Ukrainian defense forces are helping them. For example, we recently helped one of the wounded Russians near our positions. We dropped a note and water from a drone, then took him out, after which he surrendered, said the staff sergeant. Kirillo Duchko noted that the Russian soldier who surrenders will live and will be exchanged for a Ukrainian military in the future. Spokesman of the Kharkiv Operational Tactical Group, Colonel Vatily Sarantsev, said that Russia does not take away the corpses of its soldiers left on the battlefield in the Kharkiv region. According to him, the Russian troops almost never evacuate the dead, leaving the bodies to fend for themselves. The enemy almost does not carry out evacuation measures for the dead. If he still tries to somehow evacuate the wounded, then irreversible losses remain on the battlefield. Now the heat has returned to the Kharkiv region and this, of course, creates a problem for the enemy, said Sarantsev. The enemy continues active assault operations on all areas of the front. This is already known to everyone in the Vovchansky direction and its adjacent settlements, as well as in the Hlybok Lipsy direction, where the enemy is trying to penetrate into the depth of our defense by all means, Sarantsev said. Despite this, the armed forces successfully restrained the offensive of the occupiers, preventing the loss of positions, he added. The armed forces of Ukraine have begun using aviation during the offensive in the Kursk region. Soviet fighters are being used for attacks. A MiG-29 fighter jet of the Ukrainian Air Force struck an underground Russian command post with French AASM hammer bomb in the Kursk region. According to some information, Ukrainian Su-27 fighter attacked a Russian command post in the village of Tetkino, several kilometers north of the front line. 
Ukrainian aircraft dropping American JDAM bombs on targets in the Kursk region. Russian air defenses around Kursk are also very strong. This explains why the Su-27 in question was spotted flying just a few hundred feet above the battlefield after dropping its glider bombs. Pilots on both sides try to fly as low and as often as possible to avoid detection by enemy radar. Around the same time that the Su-27s were bombing Russian positions in Kursk, other Ukrainian aircraft were bombing three Russian-held towns in the Kharkiv region, about 100 miles east of the Kursk salient, 